Hello everyone, this is Inglorious P back with another video today, for the second one today. Um, today I'll be discussing Kevin Porter Jr. and the news that came out about him um, and what to do with his cards if you own them. Um, before I begin, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know below what you guys think. And let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna keep this try I'm gonna try and keep this short. Kevin Porter Jr. It's released today that the Cavs are looking to uh, release or trade him. And um, what I'm going to do is guide you guys through what's going to happen with his card prices or what I believe is going to happen and hopefully I can help you guys either make money, save money, and, and not lose your butts. So first thing you, you need to do is not panic, okay? Um, this kind of thing's happened before. He's not the first player um, to ever go through this. and, and It just happens, okay? So here's, what's, here's what happened. Here's the story of Kevin Porter Jr. for those that haven't been keeping up or don't know the full details. In October, and this is per ESPN, in October, Porter raised alarms when he posted a black square, black square on his Instagram with the message, do you ever wish to see the end of your time, right? Uh, kind of a suicidal, scary post, okay? That was back in October. In November, mid-November, mid-November 15th, he got in a middle-of-the-night crash when he flipped his Mercedes SUV. Um, he had been drinking earlier in the evening, and they found a gun, a 45 caliber, and his glove compartment and a small amount of marijuana. So he's clearly got his own mental issues, um, and you wish that on nobody. Um, he's clearly, you know, going through, I mean, he's, you know, on the marijuana, and he's drinking, and, you know, and then there was a case, I believe around that same time, I don't know if it was before or after, but there was a woman claiming that he assaulted him. Uh, and I'm not going to assume yes or no. Wait for all the facts to come out, wait for it to go to court before you make any judgments. So he's had these things going on, that's three strikes. The Cavs, because they need talent, <coughs> because they need talent, haven't really done anything with them. They, they've been leaving him out, letting him do, uh, you know, his own, his own uh, thing, letting him find his space before he comes back. Well, he came back uh, this week to with the practice with the team, I believe, and be at the games. He was on the bench after the game uh, with the Knicks. Uh, he had a screaming match with team officials after his locker was moved to an auxiliary area to accommodate new teammate Torian Prince and Jarrett Allen. After the episode, Porter was told to clean out his locker, and other members of the roster were informed he'd no longer be on the team. So he's done. Cleveland's not bringing him back. You will never see him play in a Cleveland Cavaliers uniform again. Now, what I want to express to you guys is, understand that the NBA especially, but all sports, there's two sides to the story, and there's two, there's narratives, right? Teams are trying to get their narrative out. It happens with trades a lot, right? Like if you're trying to trade Kevin Porter, you want the narrative to be that he wants to stay, but we're looking just to improve our team or we're trying to reset or whatever, right? That's why like when a player demands a trade, it's bad. So the teams are always trying to control the narrative. So this is all out there. Now, who do you think leaked this info? Was it Cleveland or was it Kevin Porter Jr.? It was probably Cleveland. The Cavs released this, um, and they're letting the, everyone in the league know, hey, he's up for trades. Apparently, they've already been trying to trade him all weekend, but this kind of seals it, that he's probably going to get released, maybe trade for peanuts uh, to a team like the Rockets or the Heat or rumored. Um, so here's what you're going to do with, your, with his cards. If you own them, don't panic. I don't think he's done in the league. I think he's going to get one more chance. There's been guys that have murdered people, done awful things, and they get second, third chances. I mean, look at Antonio Brown. Now, obviously, he's way more talented in his field than Kevin Porter Jr. at this point. But when you look at it from that perspective, they're gonna give someone will give him another chance. It doesn't matter who. It'll probably be a good organization. Maybe a team like the Spurs would be nice. Um, and so, what I want you to do is don't panic. Now, if you want to sell these cards, I personally am selling these three, and I'm hoping just to get my money back after shipping and fees and everything. If I can get my money back. I'm cool with it. Um, I'm going to keep this one. It's i got to fix this. I keep messing with it. Um, I'm going to keep one. So I'm going to keep one. So if you have four cards, keep 25% of them, or however many you have. Keep 25% for yourself, just for the hope that he figures it out, that he goes to a good team. Because here's what's going to happen. If Let's say they let's, I'm going to assume they release him. If he ends up with a team like the Rockets or the Spurs or the Heat, he 
will potentially go up in price depending on where he goes. And if he comes to a team and he starts playing well, then all those people panic selling lost a ton of money because they sold it for really low and now it's spiked back up. So try and get your money back. If you're not going to get your money back on these, don't take more than 10% of a loss. You know, if you spent, let's say you spent $50 on this, don't, don't go below $45 after everything for his cards. Um, I'm a believer in holding tight because things can change fast. Um, and it just, it's just a weird story to me that, so you're telling me that this man walked into the locker room, saw Torian Prince in his locker, and from there, it just instantly became a shouting match, and he just instantly lost his mind. Maybe. There's that potential, I guess. But I don't believe... I believe there's a part of the story that we're not being told. There's a narrative being pushed. Um, and so, you know, maybe he's just fed up with the team. You know, he's probably been working with... He's been working with them for weeks. Maybe he's just over it. So I don't panic sell. And you know what? At the end of the day, he might fall out of the league, and you lose your butt. That's on. That's your risk. Your will. I'm a little more risky because I don't want to take a initial loss when he still has it, the playing potential is there. It's the mentality, and he doesn't. He's not a fit for Cleveland. It's a team that I would not trust. No one trusts to be a team to correct someone. He needs to go to a stable franchise like Miami, the Lakers, the Spurs, the. You know, a team like the Knicks, he would do awful with because it's not stable, right? It's a team that's always moving around and, you know, having issues. If he ends up with a stable... Now, if he gets released and they send him to... And, like, Houston would be a good a good team to go to. But if he ends up with, like, New York, oh, yeah, we're selling. We're, we're getting out. But don't panic. Don't sell. I know there's a lot of uh, people out there probably listing right now trying to get their money. And, you know, people are going to sell these for way cheap. Don't do it. There's plenty of buyers out there. Someone will buy these for you later. Later, If the market wasn't so hot, I'd say maybe not. But the market is really hot right now. So just hold on. Um, if you Now, I'm sell, I personally listed these three for sale online. I'm going to try and you know get my money back. But hold off. Like At least hold like 25% of your holdings in them. 50% of your holdings. Just to see what happens. But yes, I, I support selling. For the most part, if you can get your money back or make a few bucks, take it. This is not a situation that you want to be in, but you have no choice at this point. So I appreciate y'all watching. Have a good day. Peace.